All right, so we've got Sigmar's Garden. Seeing your transmutation engine in action is giving me fond memories of playing Sigmar's Garden. Sigmar's what? You've never played Sigmar's Garden. I thought everyone knew this game. You put marbles in a certain pattern and... Marbles? Isn't that what these are? They represent... Or, they're elemental proxies. Glass spheres that represent various types of atoms. Little glass spheres are commonly known as marbles. We never call them marbles. To anyone who's not highly trained... A uh, highly trained alchemist, that's what they are. Now why don't you give Sigmar's Garden a try? Fine, I suppose. Win one game to continue. Optional. Okay. How's this work? Okay, so Sigmar's Garden teaches the Regents map. Apparently so. Hi, clearing marbles. Your goal is to clear the board. Select a free marble and then pick a matching marble to remove them both from the board. A marble is only free if it has three contiguous empty spaces next to it. Luckily, if spaces are off the board, or if spaces off the board count. Okay, so four cardinal elements match. Salt matches with anything. Vitae and Moors only match with the opposite. And the metals match with Quicksilver, but only in the order of transmutation from lead to gold. That's confusing. I'll figure it out, I guess, as we go along. How do I... Okay, I am confused. How do I put more things on the board? Or maybe I don't. This is an interesting con condrummel. I like it. Okay, so that's Quicksilver. Salt. A lot of Quicksilver. I'm stuck. Okay. Let's try this again. This is an interesting situation. So, if I do these two... I guess what I'm trying to do is free as many pieces up as possible. Because if I do these two, ah, makes more openings. Whereas these two don't, not really. Oh, I messed up. I didn't mess up too bad, but I messed up. So, new game. I'm going to look at this again. A marble is only free if it has three contiguous empty spaces next to it. So I have to I have to kind of watch my edges. If they're if they're too uh ensconced, I'm only going to wreck myself. That didn't work. Why did that not work? I don't know. The rules for this game are very, very confusing for me. And I think I'm just going to continually flail at this one. Yeah, you want to open up access to metals and quicksilvers here. Yeah, my problem is just I'm not sure if I understand the logic of 
unlocking spots yet. Because sometimes I'll, I'll do something and I'll think it'll open up, but then it won't. So for example, this one disappeared, but did not light this one up, and I'm not sure why, and thus I lose. This is one of those where a direct tutorial would be nice. So does it have to have three? No more, no less? I is that how it works? But that's not how that worked there, but this one... This one didn't unlock, whereas this one did. Depends on the combo. What? Oh. Is it because with metals, they only become clickable. If they're next to one, you need to quicksilver. Oh, jeez. I might have to come back. I really don't foresee myself doing very well at this one at all. Let's see, so we want to unlock the H. So this one. Probably with that. I've got more of those. So, if... So I've got to unlock this one before I can unlock this one, right? Is that is that how this works? Because, yeah, a very direct tuto tutorial with the, um... A very direct tutorial with the, um... The setup. So the metals don't have to be next to each other, so I've unlocked this. Let me see. There's that one. Oh, that's more Quicksilver. Well, more Quicksilver isn't entirely a bad idea. Okay, so that unlocks more of the board. And I can just match these two together freely without too much issue. I just... It'd be lovely if there was an undo button for this. Shit, that didn't work. I'll have a backup plan. Backup plan succeeded. And that's salt, so I can free these. Okay. Yeah, I'm just afraid to take an action until I know that it's not going to punish me for it, really. Okay, I don't want to do that, because we have... We have this waiting here. Well, I don't really have much of a choice. So, bam. Okay, so that did o open up this metal, like I was hoping. But that didn't open up the other metal. Do I know why? No. Okay, now it's open. Okay. Oh, it's because it, it wasn't cl clear around it. I kind of understand. Okay, we don't have any more Quicksilver. Let's see if I can get some. Okay. This is a weird mess, but I like it. Let's combine the, the reds. These. There we go! Got it! Fun, isn't it? This is not how alchemy works. The cardinal elements, for example. It's just a little amusement 
Anateus. When we were children, we used to sneak in here and play when the alchemist was away. What? You were totally unsupervised near the transmutation engine? We only use the marbles, Anateus. Calm yourself. They're not marbles. They're representation of the fundamental building block of the universe. They're also little glass spheres. I'll flick one at you. Ah! Stop it! You can't play with delicate equipment like this. They're far cheaper than the rest of your kit, you know. Being that they're marbles. I'd still appreciate it if you treated them so, uh, if you didn't treat them so casually. Well, we did it for years. You really had no idea about Sigmar's garden. Not at all. Why would the university bother to teach something so frivolous? Win 10 games to continue. Okay, prioritize matching salt with salt. Only match salt with cardinal elements when you absolutely have to. All right, let's do one more now that I kind of understand what I'm doing. Because I actually do rather like this game. Um, I just have to understand it better. Uh, let's see. So where's where's my first medal? Cause I have to I have to more or less bum rush that. Okay, it's there. Oh, that doesn't make this easier. So in that case. Yeah, I'm going to have to do one of these. This one here. Which actually helps quite a lot. Because I can open these up. Okay. So I have Quicksilver. And I do have another Salt. Not exactly an easy setup. I guess if I combine these two, it gives me more murky. Hmm. Well, if I do this at the very least. Nope, this one did this one didn't work. I cornered myself. If you match a salt and a cardinal a cardinal element, both have a number next to them to show Oh. Turn red to show they're unbalanced, by the way. Oh, so that's why you want to generally only mix like with like, if you can manage it. Okay, well, there's there's our first... Let's see. I've got three lights... I've got the H. I need Quicksilver. Do I have any spots with Quicksilver as an easy option? Not overwhelmingly. Got a number of lights, but no darks. Yeah, I think I'm only gonna... Well, I don't know. I don't know how many uh, times I'm gonna try this. This is going to be... God damn. But. Okay. So I got four salts. Well, I could always just match my salt with my salt. Now that I think about it. Is there a penalty for that? Not overwhelmingly. Doing it. Okay. Needed that. Let's see. I should probably match this with this. Free these up. Okay, this is working a little bit better. I mostly just have to make sure I don't unbalance my setup. Because that's what was getting me earlier. Because I understand now. I mostly understand now. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, Sigmaro's Garden is one of the puzzles you want to come back to on occasion rather than try and burn through all at once. Yeah, I think that's enough. I just wanted to get a second win so I understood what I was doing. Health Tonic! Do you know exactly how old Armand is? Both he and the lady are rather advanced in age. And Frederick is only is the only possible heir? As Armand's only super, uh, surviving grandson, he would be difficult to oppose. There are some other claimants from distant branches of the family, but they're weak. What brought this on? Promise not to tell anyone, but I was asked to make a tonic to assist in regulating an irregular heartbeat. Oh, Armand. Hope he's set up for everything, for an orderly, orderly succession of power after he's gone. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I do intend to keep him healthy. Okay. So matching Viteamor's Quicksilver and Metal are both things that you should consider free actions. Yeah, now that, now that I understand how that works, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, this is a nightmare. What the hell? Okay, so this is actually both... Easier than I thought it was going to be, and harder, because I have to combine these together. But maybe it's not so bad. We just have to do some wibbly-wobbly butts. So, effectively, I need this here. And I just got to start rotating a bunch. I mean, I could just do two of these. And be done with it. Because these are already connected. Wait, is this just stupidly easy? <laughs> Can I do this? The only problem is... Well... Hardly a problem at all. Okay. I want to say this is how it works. I gotta rotate it around this way. So we should probably move this like this. Right? No. I mean, it'd be easier like, yeah, it'd be easiest like this. Pick this up, rotate it around. Oh, but I can't do that. Like this. I'd have to rotate it a little bit more. Yeah, so I, I know there's probably an easier solution than this. I hope that this isn't going to work either because I'm block blocking myself in. Or maybe that's fine. No. Effectively, I'm just going to get rid of one of these. And we're just going to plunk that down there. Now let's figure it out.
I guess I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Let's start by making what we need. Now, I could have multiple arms. I could try and, like, make this overcomplicated. But let's, let's try and be efficient for space and money and nothing else. Two out of three is always better. Anyway, uh, let's see. So we want to, I guess, first order of business. We want to have this. With one here and here. Sorry if I'm not exactly reacting to this. I'm trying to visualize more than I am. Than I am anything else. Electronics makes really great games. Yeah, they do. Still a giant mess. Okay. So let's start here. We want to do pick up to the right. Rotate. Draw. Let's see if that does what I want it to do. Hmm. Okay, so that mostly works. And by this, I should rotate this. It's the left-hand one that needs one sticking off here. So next up would be rotate back, grab this, and just shift it over. Okay. So then it would be left, probably drop, left, left, grab, Grab, drag over, it's like almost the exact same thing again, but I have to switch over to piston arms, oi, alright, I'll see what I can, I'll, I'll, I'll see if, I'll see if I need to, who knows, I might be able to manage this without, what, without a piston arm. Okay, so I've gotta I gotta rotate first. And then I've gotta rotate once more. I, I could probably rotate both times and then we go back and grab it. Okay. Can I switch them? Cool. Okay, so that drops that there. Then we go right twice, grab, left. And we'll be we'll be holding it by this. So then just a 
bunch of times. I, I might... This might work. I don't know if I need a piston for this. Oh. That's why I need a piston for this. Well. Option A. I only need to grab this twice. I could just move this out here. And leave this... Here. Let's try that. Okay. I think... I think this is the right one. Okay, and then all we have to do is... And then, like, cue a couple of times? I'm a, I'm a little bit dodgy on which direction I'm supposed to roll. Sometimes it, uh... Okay, so we want to go the other way. And then this should work. And I gotta go the other way, too. I might need to rotate it a little bit more. Okay. No, I was fine, actually. I think I think this works. Yeah, who needs piston arms? Piston arms for are for other people. So I guess the other thing that I should probably do... is get rid of one of these. Two of these? It's like one or two. I might have to get rid of one more. There we go. That's all I need to do. Yeah, who needs piston arms? I'm sure I could do this in significantly less steps, but... Can you do it with significantly less money? Probably not. This feels like the bare minimum of cash required. Yeah, I halved the amount that other people did. Though apparently you could do this with... even less area. How? I don't even know. There, that should do it. One healthy-ish patriarch for the House Van Tassen, as ordered. Long live Patriarch Armand. Yeah, long li live, I guess. He doesn't seem particularly enthusiastic. I do think it's good if he stays alive. After all, he pays for everything around here. You do well to show a little bit more appreciation to your house. 